I think we're recording right now. I'm not positive. Uh, let's adjust. Let's adjust ourselves here. Uh, uh, I'm gonna make this quick, everybody. Hello, my name's Andrew. This is the Cameron Cameron's vlog. I'm playing Cameron in a movie called Dollface Terror on Route Nine. Uh, let's get a little. Let's get a little video of us. Whoa. Much bigger than I meant for it to be. Hi, everybody. How's it going with y'all? Got my son Charlie here with me. He's got an elephant. Um, I wanted to jump on here. Dad. Talk to my people. Dad? Yeah, I'm, I'm your dad. It's true. I made him. Five minutes, Baba. Five minutes on a futon couch. Created life right here. Baba. All right, so I want to show you guys some videos. I want to talk a little bit about... Um, uh, the movie that we're working on. I already uploaded one one of the vlogs, and I'm I'm gonna do this throughout the movie. Um, I'm gonna try and show you guys as little as possible, but I want you guys. I want you guys to be able to look back at this once you've seen the movie and go, "Oh, this is kind of a cool making of," without giving stuff away. Okay. So first off. I'm going to show you guys the Facebook page here. Um, there's Dollface's ugly face. Um, and so there's some information on here. If you have a Facebook, you can add, add the Facebook page and keep up to date with everything. Um, here's all the actors. Let's, let's look at our pictures. There's, there's me. There's Cameron. I'm so sexy, man. Um... Yeah, got the lazy eye and everything going on there. So all these people that I've met so far, uh, I haven't met Jerry and I haven't met Anthony. No, I did meet Anthony. I haven't. I think I met most of these guys. Um, but there's some uh, promotional pictures and stuff. Go check out the Facebook page. It's really cool. Um, stop touching things, please. I said just stop. <gasps> I'm gonna knock you out, buddy. You're ruining you're ruining the Cameron's vlog. Yeah, you got an elbow. I'll drop it on you next time, buddy. Oh, I don't like your language. Alright. So last time the last time we did one of these, or the first time we did one of these, I was showing that we were filming something. We're not filming the actual movie just yet. What we were filming was promotional uh, videos for the Indiegogo that we're going to do to try and get uh, money to make the movie even better than already planned. So this is directed by uh, Jeff uh, Gresham. I don't know if I'm saying it. Grissom? 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 Grissom! So this first one was, our, was a teaser here. So I'm going to play that really quick for you all. Try not to talk through it. That's Tawny right there. Oh, I'm already talking through it. Sorry, Jeff. likes it so that's the teaser okay um and then this was uh i didn't really i didn't vlog any of of that stuff i i should have there's a bunch of footage and stuff that you guys will see once the movie's done but um that was so much fun to work on so the next night we filmed a sample scene just to kind of give you a vibe we're gonna, I think Jeff said we're gonna refilm all this. But. Come on, come on, fuck, why won't it start? Are we out of gas? 
No, we have plenty. Come on, car, fuck! What about the others? I don't know. Right now, all I'm focused on is getting us out of here. But what about Cameron? I don't know, Chris! Fuck! I'm doing the best that I can here! Fuck! What? What's wrong? They pulled the wires. This thing ain't going nowhere. Check your phone and see if we can get a signal. We need to get out of here. I know, but not in this thing. We need to stick to the road. Which way do we go? Do we leave a note for Cam? I'm scared, Coda. Just shut up for a fucking minute! Whoa, Dakota. Whoa. I'm sorry? Dude. Yeah, you should be. I know you're scared. So am I. I just need time to think. Hold on. We're gonna get some snacks. <laughs> Everybody's dead. We're gonna get some snacks. Okay. Get some food. Something to drink. Oh, and I found your knife too. Laptop. Okay, so what's the plan? Well, the way I figure it, the car isn't going anywhere, so we need to head down the road. I say we turn on the headlights. Maybe someone will see the lights. Hopefully the police. And they'll send someone to investigate. Or Cameron and them will find the car because of the lights. So we turn on the lights and we leave? Which way? We keep going the way we were going in the car. Away from here. Here. So there's, there's a sample scene that Jeff made, um, which is really cool. Let's see here. So that, that was James and CJ. Where's CJ at? CJ. Um, that's, I believe they're brother and sister in the movie. And then... Ow. I am best friends with this motherfucker, Chad. Uh, hashtag fuck Chad. Um, and we're we're all YouTubers, basically. So, uh, all right. I think there's a couple more videos that I wanted to show you guys. Where was it? Charlie loves horror movies, by the way, so he's intently watching all this. He hasn't seen the trailer yet, so I think he's pretty pumped on all of it. So I wanted to show you guys. This is the campaign video for the Indiegogo. We'll, we'll watch that really quick. And then we'll watch one more video, and then I'll show you guys the Indiegogo. Hi, my name is Jeff Gresham. I've directed such films God, as Sinner so, and the 2012 so documentary Smashed, Trashed, and Thrashed. I'm here today to talk to you about my new horror film, Dollface, Terror on Route 9. I want to be like Jeff one day when I grow up. Are we going to watch the trailer again? Let's watch the trailer again. The trailer's dope. It's not even in the trailer. It's a teaser. But whatever. It's fine. Maybe I should get my son watching this. Hold on. Ah. Ah, you scared me. You scared me, son. Okay. Let's get, let's get Charlie's reaction to this. everything becomes an internet challenge, which usually consists of kids eating Tide Pods and setting themselves on fire. I came up with a plot that centers around six friends taking part in what's called Scary. the Route 9 Challenge, doing several small and immature challenges on the desolate route until finally ending up in the wrong place at the very wrong time, changing their priority from internet challenge to the very real challenge of staying alive. We currently have a full cast and crew of talented individuals. Various sets like the one we're currently 
All sets and special effects will be done by Shredder FX, and we will only be using practical effects for them. And we are going to need your help to take this one to As you know, talent, sets, and special effects are all expensive must-haves for any horror film. And we'll have some awesome perks for those of you that can contribute. Production begins in March of 2020. We hope you can pitch in and help us make some movie magic. To help us out, you can buy a pre-sale copy of the film, screen use props, autograph pictures, scripts, and much more. You can also become an executive producer and a key player. Thousands of dollars have already been invested in production, props, and equipment. So you're backing a project that you know will see the light of day. So let's make an awesome horror film that Hollywood is just too afraid to make. All right, we're going to jump right into the next. This is a, this was a follow-up video to this and it's it's so fucking funny. Okay. Hi. I'm Dollface. <laughs> In a world where we're full of internet challenges of people eating Tide Pods and shoving spoonfuls of cinnamon in their mouth, we really need good wholesome entertainment. Like slasher films where I get to kill a bunch of annoying teenagers just messing up the world. So won't you come and join me in 2020 when I get to kill at least five, maybe six teenagers? Sure, there'll be boobs. Sure, there'll be blood. But there's also going to be a lot of fun. Join our Indiegogo campaign and bring us a little more joy into this world. The, the best thing about that if that's the only time we let Steven talk on camera, it, that would be perfect. That's so funny to me. Hi, I'm Dollface. He's wearing glasses. <laughs> all right. So those are all the videos that we've been, we, we worked on over the last couple of weeks. Uh, mostly, you know, the Jeff, Jeff's in charge of all this. I am just acting in this, but it was fun. Like I, they let me help like light stuff and here. Let's. No. Let's get our dad, bro. What did you just say to me? I guess we don't have to be on the camera right now. All right, let's make this big again. So this is the Indiegogo page, and it has the video, the campaign video we just watched, and it has pictures of everyone and and uh, Tawny's disgusting, messed up hand. Um, we have ten backers now, so that's just the first two days we've gotten ten backers. Uh, the goal is flexible. He wants. They want to do 25000 which is a very, very, very small budget for a feature-length movie. Um, it's not unrealistic. Uh, I don't know if we're going to hit that. At this rate, we'll, we'll at least make it pretty far into that, though, in the next uh, month and a half. But, um, yeah, there's. if you're watching this, you're probably on my YouTube or on my Facebook um, there's ways to get to this page, but you can go to Indiegogo and you can look up Dollface Terror on Route 9. Um, and there's some, there's some pretty good perks here. Uh, there's a thank you for just $3. If we, if we could just get, if everyone that saw this donated just $3, then we just need to, you know, hit a third of $25,000. So you could do, you're helping. What? Yeah. I'm trying to talk, bro. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> so, I mean, if everyone even donated a dollar and 25,000 people saw this, any amount of money is very beneficial to something like this. It's a donation thing. But the perks get better as you go. You can become an insider. Um, and you get email and you get various behind the scenes goods. Um, promo video featuring Route 9 challenges. You also receive the thank you perk. So you end up in the credits. Just for donating $3, you end up in the credits. You, you get that as you go up. Um, there's the Fuck Chad uh, perk, which you, you get one of his uh, shirts, which there's two of. Um, you can get a signed copy of the script. I believe there's a signed uh, picture that you can get for $50. Um, and as you go up, obviously, they get better and better and better. Um, one thing that I was, I'm was, i pretty sure is going to happen, and if you want to wait to donate, uh, they're talking about doing one with with the a pre-release uh, screener of the movie, I, I think something like that, pre-sale copy of the movie. Um, if you're one of my friends and you've already donated, I will get you a copy of the movie when it comes out. I'm gonna buy a couple copies of of the film myself. So uh, 
I'll get you back if you're one of my people. But um, yeah, man, there's this is really cool. He made a movie in 2006, um, which I can relate to because I made a movie back in 2011, and I haven't I haven't been able to get back to it since 2011. I mean, I've I've been in other movies and stuff, but this is the biggest film I've been a part of in eight years. So I'm really excited. Um, so there's, he has all the risks and challenges. You guys can check this all out on your own. Um, yeah, doll face, uh, terror on route nine. It's going to be locally shot. If you're one of my local friends who's watching my YouTube, or if you're a filmmaker and you want to help out any amount of money helps, you don't even have to do $3. A dollar helps. Because he's not asking for like a ridiculous amount of money. And I could be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure he's making this movie regardless. This movie's going to get made. It's just you guys can make it way better. How do I get out of this? I don't know how to exit. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, guys, that's what's going on. That's That's what we've been working on. Um, we're going to be doing a, a table read pretty quick here. So I'll, I'll probably get some more silly footage of everything. And, um, like I said, any, any amount is really appreciated. And I will, if you're one of my guys, if you're one of my, one of my buddies that does the movie stuff, I will figure out a way to get you back, whether it's to donate towards one of your projects or what have you. Um, I've never done the Indiegogo thing. I've always wanted to raise my own money for my movies. So it's it's an interesting thing. I have donated to other people's projects in the past. Um, and, and that's how I've gotten a lot of my movies. I have a lot of, uh, you know, pre-released movies and stuff. It's it's It can be cool. I, I, if you like stuff like autographs and all that, it, it can be it can be fun. And you get to say, hey, I helped back this movie, which technically makes you a producer on the movie, you know, past a certain uh, amount of money. You're, you're an insider or whatever. Um, it's, it's a cool, it's it's neat. Uh, another thing I was looking at, um, I have a couple of friends who are doing a Patreon, which is an interesting um, concept. Uh, if, you're, if you're a full-time filmmaker, you can have a Patreon and people can donate like $5 to you every month. And then they get perks, like, um, some people will get send out T-shirts every month, or they'll send out a, they'll make a video that's exclusive to that Patreon. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah. So I, I just thought I'd get on here and show all the progress of everything so far. I'll probably be doing this vlog for a while. I'm, I want to I want to go through the entire uh, project. With my my viewpoint as somebody who's not in charge of making a movie for once, all everything I've worked on, for the most part, I've been kind of in charge of it, and so it's nice to just sit back and just watch them them do all the stressful stuff, and I can just you know ham it up. So, Charlie, come here, come say bye to everybody. Come here, say bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Did you just poop? No. Oh, he farted. It stinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.